Washington was the father of his country. There's many other fathers we could name. There's Father Nature Buck, who got us out of poverty. <laughs> they ought to put it in the Hall of Fame. Every time I look at you, boy, you get to look more like a sea lion. This is Eddie Foy's world, and welcome to it. Eddie Foy, raised in a family rich in entertainment history, realized early on that he was destined to contribute to his family legacy. The Foy family has been entertaining the world before vaudeville and continues to be an artistic influence today. Eddie Foy started out his career as an actor, portraying a variety of different roles. But he realized his calling was behind the camera. Suppose you boys spread the word around that Steve Bolton is paying real good odds. So it annoyed me, and I'm very adamant about that. So when a kid was not treated well on a set, I'd be the first person over there. I want to know why this, something's wrong here. Eddie Foy started his career as a casting director at Screen Gems in 1963, and by 1965, Chuck Fries, president of Screen Gems, hailed Eddie as the most instinctive casting director for finding new talent. I hope that answers your question. Yes, I don't it, know does. it does. Uh, very ably. Did you often have to do that? Yes. Has it changed any today for kids on the set? Thanks to Paul Peterson, yes. Yes. He's Paul Peterson is the spearhead of the protection of children in the, in, in the motion picture industry. Child, child labor industry, child labor laws. And he was and in the cast of Father Knows Best. He was right? in Donna Reed. Oh, Donna Reed. And right. he went through a, a tough life. He pulled himself together, and he started a minor consideration. I read, we auditioned, we interviewed, and I went to every workshop in Southern California. Eddie Foy III was standing outside um, of the workshop the first night that I came, and he asked me if I would come on an interview the next day.